Hi everybody, so today I'm going to have um, a really fast, it's like seven and a half minutes of making a journal and while this is happening I'm going to tell you about this um, 1,100 page uh, directive that's coming from the federal government to the states that they must correct all their signs that are used for informing uh, drivers about traffic things or anything important. Well, apparently people are using the signs or different states use the signs to be funny, but also to send a message. And one of them was um, like during, this came out in, in December, so the filming of the video was in January, and in December they said, you know, like, watch, Santa's watching you, so don't speed, that kind of thing. And um, I guess somebody somewhere decided that this is not funny, it can be confusing. Um, another one was in Massachusetts, there was one where it, it used the vernacular uh, way they say things with, with a drawl or however their accents are. And I thought that was kind of interesting that you, the, they are telling the states they can't use, they can't be humorous when they're saying stuff. And I thought it brought a big, um, you know, more people looking at it and actually reading it because then they're like, well, oh, wait a minute. And it sort of shocks you into like, oh, you know, <laughs> you got to pay attention. Um, I can't think of anything that I've seen recently, but uh, I, I guess they're, they decided they, they had to send out a, as I said, 1100 page directive on protocol for putting up traffic signs. And Interesting. Um, I was. I wonder what you all think about it. If if that's uh, difficult or if that makes sense to you. Did you ha ever have problems with traffic signs being funny or humorous? I'm, I'm trying to find. I got this information. I saw it on um, Facebook, and then NBCNews.com had it, and it was that. Uh, they want this done. The funny pop culture references or obscure meanings in the electronic signs will be banned by 2026 because they can be misunderstood or distracting to drivers. Now, the thing is, though, that if, if they put signs up that saying road work ahead or they have something about there's a merge or whatever that's happening, it's a warning. So if that's not distracting. Why is having something that says um, Santa sees you when you're speeding, you know, as a play on Santa sees you when you're sleeping? Maybe um, it, I don't know. So the Department of Traffic said signs should be simple, direct, brief, legible, and clear, and only used for important information, as in warning drivers of crashes, adverse weather, etc. Um, I don't know. It it just see like in let's see um, Ohio they had one that said don't drive star spangled hammered. Um, from Pennsylvania, hocus pocus, drive with focus. From New Jersey. And hands on the wheel, not your meal, from Arizona, which <laughs> I guess maybe everybody's driving while they're eating <laughs> in Arizona. I never noticed that before. In Arizona, they say that we have 300 electric signs above its highways. And for the last seven years, the State Department of Transportation has held a contest to find the funniest and most creative uh, mean mean messages and um, it people winners wear seatbelt always pass a vibe check and I've just a sign asking drivers to use turn signals so you know I don't know it, it just seems like um, I'm a little confused maybe I have 
more focused than most people. I just didn't see anything wrong with it, but I'm probably wrong. <laughs> and I don't, I don't get it, but there it is. You know, the world is changing and the way we see things is no longer, no longer the way you're supposed to see things anymore. But I always thought it could be funny. Anyway, so this was a video basically just to go through the process really quickly. Um, and I had to redo things. I had to change out the paper, um, move the signatures, re redo it. And um, finally things came together and I'm, I was happy with it. I, I think that if you're interested in seeing a real life, real time version, I'll do a, a live and do it that way because it can be very a very long process. This book actually took me um, two afternoons to do because it's like, oh, maybe three or four hours worth of video. And sometimes I, I lost some video. So, um, <laughs> I think we're at the part where I've decided to put in the graphic 45 paper embellishments, but they're like, they're very thick. They're like cardboardy. And so sometimes we need to use something to hold it down because it's, it can lift up. So I have some hand weights on my table and it, I use it for the hand weights for cutting out patterns and what have you. And so they, they seem to work well. Um, the other thing was, didn't want to, because it didn't work out in the beginning, I decided to change how I was going to close it, decided to use the string. And so this piece I found in the Graphic 45 embellishments worked out perfectly. I could thread through it. And there it is. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed my story. See you in the next video.